I'm going to demonstrate how to put down uh, underlay before you actually lay your tiles. We are on a timber floor so it is advisable to use an underlay. So the tools we need to do the job are the uh, level, we have a fibre cement sheet cutter, most importantly you will need a dust mask because we are um, actually using uh, fibre cement. Our knife and gloves, obviously safety is important. Uh, we have our pencil and our tape measure, clouts, uh, hammer, we have our sealant and our corking gun. And of course, um, most importantly, we're, we're laying underlay, so we will need the actual underlay. So first we need to actually measure up the space so we know exactly how big we need to cut our uh, underlay sheets. So I'll move all my gear out of the way and we can measure up the space. So now we're going to measure up for our first sheet that we're going to cut. So we start off measuring from the wall to this first piece here. That's 1260. I'll write that down so I don't forget. Okay, we also need to measure the doorway um, because we, uh, we have to allow halfway under the door for the uh, underlay to end. So I'll measure that as well. Again, writing down my measurement so I know what I've done. And taking into consideration that our, our underlay sheets are 1200 wide, that's how wide I'm going to take the measurement for the first sheet. So just from the edge of the doorway, um, 1200. So now I'll transfer my measurements onto my first sheet and I'll cut them from there. So now I'm just going to grab my straight line, make sure that we're level. I am going to need the assistance of someone else because the sheets are a little bit heavy. Okay, so now we're going to need our fibre cement cutters and we'll cut straight across the line that we've drawn. And now we've got our tile underlay down, we need to cut out the opening for the doorway. So first I'm going to actually mark 3 mil away from the edge here. And I'm going to put an arrow um, facing the way that I actually need to cut the tile underlay. Next we need to measure the distance, um, just this little doorway opening that we have to cut for. Okay, now we're just going to pick the sheet back up again and we'll cut out our section ready for the doorway. Okay, so we're going to measure where I marked it and 40 millimetres out. And I'll just get my straight line and draw a nice straight line there. Okay, now we're ready to cut, so I'll just get Jason back over just to help hold the sheet for me while I actually cut it. Now our sheet's been cut, we're ready to lay it back down again. Okay, now I'm ready to cut out my cement sheet for my shower, uh, where my shower base is. I'm um, using the same process as we did for the first piece of underlay. Uh, you can use a whole piece of underlay if you wish. Um, however, I've got an off cut, so I'm going to actually do it in two. Okay, now I've finished cutting around the pieces for the shower, so I'm going to put them down. Remembering we've cut enough to leave a 3mm gap so that we can put our silicon in. Okay, so now I've got my nails and my, my hammer and we're going to start putting the nails in. If you do notice uh, as we start nailing, you'll see there's uh, places marked on the actual underlay for the nails to go into. Okay, we finished nailing down our underlay. Now we're ready to actually silicon in between the joints and around the corners. So we're going to use our wet and dry silicon, obviously because it's to make sure that we keep the moisture out. Um, we'll need our nozzle, our caulking gun, and of course we need our knife to cut off the cap and the, the nozzle. Okay, now we're ready to caulk. Just remove my gloves because I won't be needing those. And we'll start with this edge. Okay, that's the job done now. We've put down our underlay, we've um, nailed it and made sure the nails are nice and flush. 
We put in our silicon into all the joints, so we're now ready for waterproofing.